one step closer to closure two years after the violent murder of a witness in an attempted murder trial. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement says they've charged a man for his killing. Tonight, as 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen explains, his family says he was a hero just trying to do the right thing. Dominique was a good kid. More than two years later. Dominique was my everything. The family of a Winter Haven man, 20-year-old Dominique Harris, remains heartbroken over their loss. It was very devastating. It was unbelievable. In October 2019, Dominique is shot multiple times in Lakeland, and he survives. The shooter is identified as Marlon Burgess, and he's arrested. Fast forward to December 2019, Burgess posts bond. He contacts Dominique, tries to persuade him not to testify against him, and fails. Then, in May of 2020, Dominique's body is found, badly beaten and stabbed in an orange grove in Hardy County. With cold and calculating persistence, Burgess came up with a plan to murder the one person who could put him back behind bars. I looked into the criminal history of now 37-year-old Marlon Burgess. His charges stem back to 2004. They include assault, burglary, and resisting arrest. He spent 12 years in prison and was out just six months before he's believed to have shot Dominique Harris. Now Burgess is extremely violent and was willing to do anything to avoid another prison term. Burgess has been in jail since June 2020, arrested on separate charges a week after Dominique's body was found. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement says more arrests related to this case may be coming. Investigation is ongoing and continuing, and um, yeah, I would say stay tuned. Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. This case is active and ongoing. Anyone with information can contact FDLE Tampa Bay.